Hey, hey, Murray here with a quick video to show you how to set up auto bumps within Experienceify for specific courses. Now, auto bumps are offered at the point of sale as an extra alternate option to the regular purchase options available to the customer. And you can uh, do an auto bump for things like uh, you can release premium or VIP content that's locked for others within the same course. You can bundle in access to courses or content within the same XP account. You can get access to VIP spaces within the community forum. Uh, you can show different content in the, the same student pages. You can customize the content of the pages based on whether somebody took the order bump uh, option. Uh, and you can also re reveal uh, hidden pages inside the course that other students don't see and they can get access to you know things like content or coaching or VIP access or whatever you want whatever um, your students would respond to and uh, feel like they want to pay extra for inside your course so here's the the quick two minute video of how to set this up inside a course so I've got a few steps I'm going to follow here so first of all you want to add the uh, actual order bump payment option inside your payment options area inside the course. So you can see I'm here on step two, set course payment options. Uh, I'm charging $9.99 for this course. Uh, I also have an installment plan here for two payments of $5.99. Uh, I'm going to add an extra installment payment here of one payment of, let's say I want to uh, have an order bump of just say $500. That means my uh, my order bump or my order total is going to be fourteen ninety nine in this case. Okay. Next, once that's done, we want to add a little piece of CSS code uh, into the system to make the uh, the order bump option stand out and be more visible from the in the order form. So I've got some code here in the help article uh, or adding an order bump. You can find this on the help center, and you can just copy this the CSS text here, copy. So come down here to course settings and then choose CSS and then choose enable CSS for this course and then just paste that code into the CSS box. That's it, that's all you do. Now um, we're going to go and customize what the order bump says on the order form. So next you wanna come down to customize course pages and click on order form. All right, so we've got three options here on the right. These are your payment options. You can see full pay, payment plan, and payment plan. And this is the order bump option, okay? So we're gonna customize what this looks like. Um, so, this, uh, so it pops out for the student and looks like it's extra value. So edit content here. And it's important to point out that this, is, this option is going to look different once the student sees it. Once I show you the preview, page, the, the preview version of the page, it's going to show, it's going to look differently based on the CSS that I just uh, added in this previous step here. So these changes are not being shown right here. So just bear that in mind. Okay. So I've got, um, sorry, I skipped ahead. So here on the order form block, which is this one, you can hover over and you'll see some edit an edit content button. Click on that come down to write column data. That's everything contained in this column here. And then grab some text. I've got some text here for my option here. So I'm gonna choose VIP upgrade option and change where it says, um, okay, come down here to the third option and then open that up. And then you can see it says one payment of $14.99. And then for the headline, add in whatever text you want. You can see this one says VIP upgrade option now. And the next piece of text I wanna add is this one for the description. So it's going to say some descriptive, descriptive text here. So now when I close this and it's saved, now if I preview this, you'll see that the VIP upgrade option is visibly very separate, very different. It pops out from the page and it looks like a more attractive option. It's got a little emoji there that I added, plus some text, get course of course access plus VIP access. I'll turn, that's doesn't really read very well, but I'll change that later. Uh, but you can see how that works. And um, that is basically, oh, the last step is to add a tag. So let me come back here to close this one, close this one, come back here to the course here. So uh, we need to know who takes the VIP option in order to treat them differently. So the way to do that is to add a tag. 
And the way to, uh, here's how you do that. Go to account area and then go to tags. And then here's a list of my tags. Your page will look totally different. You may not have any tags yet, which is fine. So just come down here to add a new tag name. And then uh, I'm setting up a VIP option for my experience product masterclass course. So I'm gonna just abbreviate it here for EPM and then EPM underscore VIP. I add that so you can see this new tag is added. Now, if I go back to course, go back to awesome course name. Now customize course pages. Now come back to order form. This is what we did a second ago. And edit content, write column data, open the third option here and you'll see uh, this option here that I didn't talk about before, which is add tags for this payment option. Now this is where you can add a tag when someone takes that option. So VIP, EPM VIP. So people are gonna get that tag if they take this third payment option. And that means that we're going to be able to treat them differently inside the course. Once they get access or once they pay, they get the VIP tag, and then we can treat them differently inside the course experience. So I've got some ideas here in the article that I showed you a second ago. So idea for how to treat your VIPs differently. You can set up different automations. So you can send them different emails, different SMS messages. You can release premium or VIP content that's locked for others. You can bundle in access to courses within the same XP account. You can give them access to VIP or hidden spaces within the community forum through tag-based group or space visibility. Uh, you can show different content blocks to them uh, on their course pages, again, using tag-based block visibility. That's basically where you can uh, uh, you can decide who sees what block on which page um, based on the tag they have. So you can actually show content blocks within the course to differently to people who have different tags. I hope that makes sense. And then, um, yeah, and I've got some I've got even more options here available for you to look at different ways that you can add value to a order bump, a VIP upgrade within a course, a program, a membership, or any kind of content that you're selling on Experienceify. So I hope this video was helpful and shows you exactly how to set up an order bump within Experienceify.